Hey, what's up everyone? I didn't know whether I was going to make a video or not, but I decided to go ahead and make a, a black screen or dark screen video. I just wanted to state Happy Halloween to everyone. I hope you all have a happy and safe Halloween night. The temperature went from 70 this morning and then dropped immediately and it went from 70 to 30. Once the temperature changed, it changed. So, <laughs> the uh, then it started snowing and sleeting and I took the one of the dogs for a short walk and then well actually it was a long walk but then uh, it started sleeting and snowing I videoed the trip part of it and I'm going to post that next but it was definitely it became messy after I after I stopped videoing so just thought I would share the walk a little bit and it's been very windy the wind chill has been around 30 degrees since noon all the way through this evening and it has been cold it's uh, any trick-or-treaters out there it's going to be very cold for them in our area thankfully the storm line as it went through they talked like oh it's going to hit right on us and you could see it on the tv and you could see it on the radar that it and daddy was even saying you're about to get hit hard by it when he called us but then boom it just completely missed us but hit everywhere else around and there was damage all over tennessee and they stated and the, that it's been crazy but thankfully praise the lord we missed it um been getting some inform interesting information regarding various past life information and things like that some it's a lot to take in i don't know if i'm going to take a break from posting i might take a short break from posting videos and just kind of take a break from the internet from posting I don't really know for sure but I might do that just to give myself some time to take a break from sharing online but you never know about me because I might wind up posting something out of the blue just out of nowhere but because I've stated that many times that I was going to do that and then it, I never did one time I stopped making videos for like two months because I went through a lot during that time Kelly was talking to me about Mercury and retrograde, and I'll tell you what, last time that happened, the vehicle messed up, I don't want to talk about that, but, um, Mercury and retrograde, electronics, everything's messing up, TV signals, electronics, uh, phones, everything, and here's what happened with that, and his, and his trucking company, they told him that the system was messed up, he had a Missouri load, which he was hoping to get, because it would give him more miles, but he had a Missouri load, and they told him that the computer system was down, that they, uh, the, that the, uh, that it might have been, someone might have hacked it, who knows, and that's what I feel like, someone hacked it, but the system was down, so they were not able to confirm any loading information, so he, in, in the trucking industry, basically, they have to, uh, confirm and scan these loads and confirm them and get the loading information and all of that, the bill of, la bill of laden and all of that they have to get all of that done and then uh scanned and then give it to the driver then when the driver gets to this location with the load they have to share it they have to give that the bill of information and everything to the person to the company and they scan it but apparently the uh, system was down and he was not able to get the missouri load which is going to shorten his miles and the check next week but he um yeah, that's not good as we get closer and closer to the holidays. But he uh, said he said that the bosses told him that it's all down. The whole system is down. And yesterday, his computer in the truck went down. They require to have computers now, EDLs, electronic driver logs. And he, it went down and, and messed up. And one of his one of his bosses told him that he he to to unplug it take it loose and re and plug it back in and he said that didn't work and it messed up completely and it's been screwing up since that happened and he um it came back on but then it's been messing up since then on and off but i hope and pray things settle out settle down and balance out because he needs the runs and he needs the loads and they're not managing things right at his company, the company's company he's at. 
I don't know what they're thinking. They're not managing things out. It's just things aren't, they're just not doing right. Which many of these businesses, once they get money, it all goes to their head and they start managing things wrong but and not thinking about the drivers. It's just sad the way corporations and companies do, even though they're a small business. But And uh, they keep all of us in this world just right, not even, not above water at all. They keep us just enough to stop drowning, to not drown. And sometimes not even enough to pay you know a check from week to week not even a check a check from week to week and you go on the negatives financially and it's still it's not even enough sometimes it's not even enough to cover bills and groceries and, uh, and basic necessities and things and they don't look at things like they just don't look at things properly and something everyone should have is basic medical care and help and just just the basic care and maybe someday maybe I'll have financial fortune financial blessings and security we'll see as we head into the next few years what happens there's a lot going on and uh, we had the chance to be the right now the most financially stable we've ever been as far as a country uh, not us personally, but as far as a country, but then they've just ruined it all with uh, every turn they had. It's like they really don't care. The other side, you know what I'm talking about. They'll do anything just to get their way instead of focusing on the security and the stability of the people. Which, isn't the government supposed to be for the people? Ha! <laughs> that stopped a long time ago, right? But the government was written to be for the people. You know, a nation, by, I mean, a government by the people, for the people. And yet, it was supposed to be by the people, for the people, and it's supposed to help the people out. But yet, all of these, the ones running on the uh, donkey side, say that, oh, it's a government, uh, we need a government rule. We need a complete government takeover of everything in order to stop all of this chaotic climate chaos really we need total government control how's that worked out in the past i mean how's that going to stop it what they could be doing is creating legislation right now to battle those fires and funding to f battle the things that are happening right now and the disasters but they're not just like businesses are not helping their people out and their employees out and balancing the money and financial system and balancing things out to help the people out it's like this individual at the store was telling me a few days ago, there is no middle class anymore. They've cut out the middle class. There's just the lowest of the low. There's the lower class, very lower class, and then there's the highest cla higher class. There's no people who are middle class anymore. And they want to step out blue-collar people all, to all together. And every day they make fun of the Constitution and want to get rid of it. They, they even went as far as to state the Constitution is like an old grandpa uh, it just needs to get out of the way. You know, it's it's no longer useful. It was great in his time, but it's no longer useful. That was rude, in my opinion. That's the kind of things that they state about the Constitution. But yet they fuss about this administration every single day for going against the Constitution, but yet they want to remove the Constitution themselves. So they're speaking with a forked tongue, those people in charge on Capitol Hill. On the donkey side, you'd think the donkey side and the elephant side could get together and work for the people. Nope. But anyway, yeah, it's been a crazy work week for him, uh, for Daddy. It's been crazy. They uh, they had uh, computer system failures today. They claimed it was nationwide failure on their system. I've been hearing about power outages all over the place, electrical uh, disturbances. I've been hearing a lot about internet outages, network issues, and things like that. And especially California, that fire is the worst it's ever been. And this, well, actually, they claim that it rivals the 2007 fires. Um, they say that 2007 was very similar. I remember when I was in school, when I was in elementary school, I was writing about it. 
and I wrote about how I wrote about those fires spreading that there'll be more tsunamis there'll be fire spreading there'll be disasters more floods and everything from and I said through 2007 and and beyond and I talked about everything that was going to happen and it was kind of information that was just given to me but they contribute to the problem themselves those in charge but anyway I just thought I would tell about Some of the things going on. That Mercury retrograde has really messed up the, uh, uh, the you know, just so many things. And also, Daddy's workplace, it's been crazy. So, pray that things get better for all of us and financial blessings wind up being on the way. Just thought I'd share all the craziness in this world and some of the crazy things. Oh, uh, they stated that in Washington, there's a lot of earthquake activity around the uh, volcano. The volcano. Mount, um, not Mount St. Helens, but Mount, I forgot what the name of the mountain was. It's a volcanic, uh, volcano, mountain range, a volcano, and it is really ramping up with earthquakes. But anyway, peace. I'll talk later. Signing out. My links are below. You can subscribe, share, like, and all that good stuff. Happy Halloween, everyone, regardless, and I hope you have a happy and safe Halloween. Signing out. Peace.